I think anyone who's interested in the ancient world uh, before they pass on must go to Ephesus. I think it's the number one archaeological site in the world today in terms of what a city looked like in antiquity. Now, if you want a completely excavated city, then go see Pompeii, but that's not a city. It was a Roman village uh, in southern Italy. But this is what an urban area looked like, and it is a marvelous a panorama of columns uh, to the present day. You can almost see uh, almost half of what the city looked like at the time of St. Paul. You have the Arcadian Way going out to the sea. Of course, now it goes out to uh, green, dry land. But in those days, it was right at the end of the Arcadian Way. The Aegean Sea uh, was uh, lining the shore. And then you have uh, Going up the Arcadian Way, you would come to the great theater, or really the way most people come is from the top down, easier walking that way. And so the buses usually park at the uh, southern, southeastern end of the city, and then you walk down this colonnade uh, to the uh, area where you see the great library of Celsus, and then you walk across to the great theater uh, along the forum at that time. Of course, the Greek word for forum is agora the Agora, the marketplace, which is the center of Ephesus. And then, of course, you have the great theater of Ephesus. And then the view from the great theater would really be spectacular. The Greeks had a wonderful idea. If you're ever bored by what's happening on the stage, you still have a beautiful panorama to look out at. And so you had the Aegean Harbor coming in there, and it was just a spectacular sight. It is to the present day, as a matter of fact, also. Mm -hmm.